a highly venomous pit viper is going head to head with a woman in a critical battle to locate their prey. For the snake, it's a mouse-sized balloon. For Rachel, it's a cat-sized child's toy. They're both in the pitch dark. The snake in a big wooden box, Rachel in a spooky vault. Both challenge and the targets are proportionate in scale. So which contender is your money on? They're off. The snake, that cold-blooded hunter, is totally unfazed. While in her tunnel, Rachel's body is in overdrive. It felt like my heart was gonna come out of my body. I couldn't sense anything. Adrenaline is pumping into her bloodstream, preparing her muscles and her nervous system for fight or flight. Her pupils are dilating. I couldn't tell how big the room was. I couldn't tell what was right in front of me, what was behind me. Really disconcerting. It made you feel really um, vulnerable. Just normal human reactions to sensory deprivation. But it doesn't affect Rachel's determination to find her prey and really go for it. I was determined to knock the out of it. Okay, let's wind back the clock five minutes. The pit viper's just been let loose in its dark environment. Shaking his tail and his musket. Smell it. Five, four, three, two, one. The snake strikes with uncanny precision. Nothing to smell, nothing to hear, and it's pitch dark. Snakes have something of a superpower. Some snakes actually see the world in a different way. Pit vipers are one of just a handful of snakes that possess what amounts to a sixth sense, the ability to perceive infrared. If you think of a light bulb, an incandescent bulb, and you have it on a dimmer switch, and you turn it down and down and down, the color goes from white, emitting all of the wavelengths of the visible spectrum and more, but it gradually goes to yellow, to orange, eventually to red, and ultimately into the infrared. And why is that important? Because infrared is emitted by every warm body, ideal for this predator. Boas and pythons and pit vipers have specialized organs in their faces called pit organs. There are neurons, nerve cells, that are picking up this infrared radiation from the environment, effectively allowing them to see heat. In reality, the battle was over the moment he entered his box and clocked the warm balloon, taking just five seconds to launch his precision attack. If a human would have half of its supernatural ability, we'd be a superhero.